Pussycat Theater say that the city deliberately cut them out of subsidy money that was due them. As Channel 7's Rigo Chacon reports, the theater owners also claim that their employees and their customers are the victims of discrimination. The, these are not uh, deviates. They're not perverts. They're adults who are choosing uh, of their own free will to see an adult movie. That's how one of the owners of the Pussycat Theater characterized the men and women who go into the theater to watch what he called sexually explicit but not obscene movies. I know I'm early, but are my babies ready? The members of the city council apparently disagree. The Pussycat is one of the businesses that was excluded from the city's subsidy program, a plan designed to help merchants who have been hurt by downtown's light rail construction. But the physical disarray of South First Street and no compensation for the inconvenience and loss of money is only one of the reasons Walnut Properties has filed a lawsuit against the city. The other complaint is against alleged police harassment. The chief and four of his officers are specifically named in the suit. In less than one year, there have been over a thousand separate visits by the police officers from San Jose at the theater, as many as 20 visits in one day. But the battle between the city and the owners of the Pussycat Theater goes beyond the redevelopment area on First Street. The same company owns the Town Theater, and officially, it's been told it's no longer welcome. The people at Hester School across the street have been fighting the Town Theater for 20 years. This week, they got some help from the city council with an ordinance that gives the town two years to find a home 200 feet from a residential area and 500 feet from a public school. When they first started here, there was explicit pictures in the front of the uh, theater. The parents were real concerned about that and uh, worked with the theater owners, and those pictures were taken away. On that matter, the theater owners say the city will also hear from them. In San Jose, Rigo Chacon, Channel 7 News. And what about the other side? Well, the San Jose City Attorney's Office will not comment on the lawsuit until they actually receive the complaint.